Hey guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we'll be working our way through one of the many MCAT practice problems found at MCATSelfPrep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I'll be walking through today's practice problem as if you're one of my private tutoring students. Be sure to hit pause and try this problem for yourself before watching my explanation. Let's talk about how the side of blood might be processed by our brain. The blood is the environmental stimuli that then is processed by our sensory memory. Sensory memory is very, very, very short-term storage. Basically, it's going to store every single thing that you saw, including the information that's not important. Two subtypes of sensory memory that I think you should know for the MCAT are iconic memory and echoic memory. Those are two terms that you should definitely know. Iconic memory referring to visual information, Echoic memory referring to auditory information, okay? Remember, these memories last for a very, very short period of time, and they include every single thing that you saw or every single thing that you heard in the most recent period of time. Then, your brain is going to decide what parts of that information are important via selective attention. You're only going to remember certain parts of what you saw, and those parts are going to end up in your short-term memory. Then, if you really feel like that information was important, for instance, maybe this blood that you saw was a very traumatic experience for you, that's going to end up in your long-term memory via storage. Okay. Let's take a second look at our question stem. In the information processing model, which of the following terms best describes the initial sight of blood or seeing a white coat that is easily forgotten? Now, we're talking about something that's easily forgotten, very, very short term. Therefore, we're referring to sensory memory. But be careful. On the MCAT, the best answer is the most specific answer. Even though sensory memory is correct in this case, it's not the most correct because there's a more specific answer. Therefore, we can eliminate B, sensory memory. Echoic memory, that's referring to auditory information. Therefore, we can eliminate that answer choice as well. Working memory, this is a kind of memory in which the information you're dealing with can be manipulated in your mind. And that's not the type of information we're referring to here. Iconic memory, yes. Iconic memory is sensory memory for visual information. And that's exactly what we're dealing with here. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. And for more MCAT tips, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATSelfPrep.com. And if you are really looking to maximize your MCAT score, feel free to visit my tutoring profile page and request a free 10-minute phone consultation. I would love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. I look forward to hearing from you soon, and we'll see you next time.